Yeah, sorry about that, guys. The video um, went on a bit there. Battery ran out. And uh, basically what I'm going to do here is we're going to do the YouTube edit. I'm um, going to just recap everything like in five minutes, literally from start to finish. And at the end, you're going to see how nice it pees. So, yeah, stay tuned. Here we go. So we're going to um, start by taking these 10 mil nuts off. There's four of them. So there's two this side, two the other side. And actually, before we do that, we have to put it in reverse and unscrew the shifter, um, the shifter rod. So, yeah, if you put it in reverse, sorry, just to explain that that should pop out a bit more. So it should give you a bit more um, of a grip on that nut there. and screw that so yeah it's um they were quite tight but we got there in the end let's see how this one's like okay i need two hands for this i'm just going to give it some tappage on that but yeah Oh, geez, there she goes. Oh, that's weird. Here we go. Oi. 10 mil, four of those to get undone, and let's go for it. Oh, nice and loose. And again, I can see there's fresh grease on here, so that would definitely suggest the impeller should be good. Somebody must have done this within a year or the last two years, maybe. But all that sand, pff, that's mixed in with, you hear it, it's all crunchy at the still. Someone must have been absolutely battering this bad boy. Bottoming out in the old sandy inshore waters, perhaps. It must have been someone's workhorse at some point. It does look like it's been well used. But just needs a bit of TLC and we'll bring her back to life. Here we go. All right, so they're all off now. One, two. Yeah, there's a lovely bit of grease around there. Make, it makes all the difference. The next person will be frothing, just like myself. Here we go then, let's wiggle this off. Oh my God. Brilliant. Okay, that's a really good example. I don't know if you can see there, but <laughs> look at that. One of the little blades has actually just come off. It's crumbled off. So that means that means pretty much the other ones will be, you know, won't be won't be long before they break off either. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, while I'm at it, here you go. Have, 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 have a look at that. So all the other blades look okay-ish, but you can see that one that's missing. <laughs> Just use this to, to just prise it up. Just get it up, pry it up a bit, and then it should become pretty much. You can you can I could do that with my hands now. He says, "There we go." Yeah. So oh, I just felt the pin go then. So that was seated. I don't know if you can see that. You see? Oh, can you see it? There's a pin on there, you don't want to lose that, but usually, there you go, you can just about see it. There you go, that's perfect. See that pin on the, on the shaft just there? You should get another one of those, I think, with impeller kits and stuff, but I'm not going to lose this one just in case you um, you need to keep that. So just be aware of that. And yeah, I'll show you how to put it all back together, basically. Once you've got your new impeller, so old impeller off, look at the state. That's handy, isn't it? It will work like that, obviously, just about, but it's not ideal, is it? Like I said, it's more about catching that that blade. You don't want it to perish and get sucked into the the system and make a blockage. Ching! New impellers, boys. Right, time to grab your grease, guys. So this is white grease. It's kind of like a standard industry standard kind of marine grease. Um, 
this is where we're going to actually pop a tiny bit on our that's the dead one that's the new one the key area you see it's just there at the top at 12 o'clock there that needs to obviously go down face down as you're putting it on might have put a bit too much grease on there but never mind um, uh, the argument of putting grease on and not putting grease on, I think I have I think I can see both sides of the story. Putting grease on, it's going to spin more freely. There you go. I've just found the pin just, it just seated nicely there. Right, so this is the, the old housing. We're going to be reusing it. I've just given it another clean with a WD-40 and a little sponge and... Yeah. So it's pretty obvious which way it goes, but what I'm saying is there's a pin about here and I think maybe one on the other side. So that's all seated nicely now. It is, again, just a little bit of twisting and wiggling. Let's put it in reverse. Let's make sure, yeah, so now it's in reverse. Yeah, I can see that now. Um, okay. Said before, let's get these greased up. Get the um shaft in. I don't know how difficult it's going to be getting the tube, the water tube, water spout, and the shifter in position. So it's just going up now. I'm just wiggling it, <laughs> wiggling, pushing at the same time. I'm gonna just oh, it's not in gear. So let's see if I can. Oh, I just popped it into first. There we go. So what that means is I can now twist, I can twist the shaft. So we should hopefully have a bit more. Oh, there you go, straight away, perfect. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm getting the top part of the shifter in position oh, so that I can hopefully do it with my fingers and just, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put it in reverse and continue to wind this on because everything at this point is going smoothly. In it, actually, at this point, I'm gonna start putting the nuts in. So let's just get a couple of those in place and in position. So that just takes the strain off of my left arm slash bicep. There's more about, there's millions of ways of doing this obviously, but this is the way I feel is most comfortable at this moment of time guys yeah I just spun you around because I wanted you to kind of have a little bit more of a, a look at what I'm doing this side so slowly doing these up he says so he goes around the other side and does the other ones around does the other ones up sorry but make sure your pins lined up there's a little pin here and there's one at the back so That'll just help you, um, yeah, I guess help you line it up. You know, it only can go in one way. So if it's not going in, it's because that needs a little bit of a jiggle. Seem to be all right at this stage. Oh, mate. Yeah, there we go. It's closing up nicely now. Cool, all right. So yeah, it's got a nice seam. Let's do that on a bit more. There we go then boys, it's ticking over. It's on idle and that is flying out. Just had a little play around with this again. Mixture screw and the idle speed screw. I put the speed screw, I tightened that a little bit because it was it was struggling a bit when it was cold. So yeah, I think it was two turns on the, on the mixer screw, get it like this. And to be honest with you, it's not completely dialed in, but it will do. I mean, this video is all about this impeller replacement. And there we go. 
beautiful £2.50 Impella and now we've got beautiful cooling of the engine. What a difference that makes, eh? Guys, if you enjoyed that video, give us a quick thumbs up. Sorry it was so long. Um, yeah, next we're going to be putting, uh, we're going to do an oil, oil change. Uh, the lower unit, uh, crank, whatever it's called, the gear, the gearbox. Um, going to be draining the oil, replacing it. I'll show you the little bit of kit that I bought um, to make life easier for that job. So yeah, give us a like, like and a thumbs up or whatever it's called and a subscribe if you can. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.